Yo, we finally ended up getting some My Team news with the new NBA 2K21 My Team blog, as well as the trailer, and we're gonna be reacting to everything. We're gonna talk about the new game modes, the new ways of running rewards. There's, like, so much to talk about, and before we do get started, guys, I need you to do me a big favor. If you leave a like right now on the video, NBA 2K21 is going to be the greatest My Team of all time, the greatest 2K of all time. So help me out right now, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and let me know down below in the comments right now what is the most exciting thing that you saw from the blog, or the trailer and i mean without further ado we're gonna get right into it and we're gonna react to the trailer first and uh, there's a lot of stuff in this trailer so without further ado let's get right into it i'm not gonna have the song in the background because it might be copyrighted but we got right here play from the jump okay i'm assuming that means current gen oh michael jordan in a blazers jersey okay i mean that's my team right there we got limited we got fr oh freestyle domination challenges unlimited triple throw oh yo that court i kind of messed with it okay okay i like that lonzo right here we got harden Mm, Kobe, oh man, oh Kobe Bean, yo, Seasons, ooh, oh, yo, wait a minute, yo, we gotta go back to that one, oh man, yo, the court kind of like, yo, Kobe Bean though, you already know, okay, we got Kevin Durant and some badges, I like that, we get Tatum and Curry, okay, okay, ooh, the 2 the k tournament is coming back, okay, that, that's expected, yo, you might see Comp Carlos in 2K21, so stay tuned for that, and uh, wow, yo, my boy, man, Yo, dude, I'm ready. Yo, yo, I, yo, yo, that, that got me. Yo, I'm ready. I'm literally ready right now. There's a couple things that we got to talk about really quickly. The first thing is Kobe, you know, rested, you know. Oh, man. Every time I see my boy Kobe, you, you already know. But, um, yeah, just Kobe, you already know. The legend. Um, but, oh, man, we got to do. There's some, oh, I don't even know what to talk about first. We got to talk about, yo, seasons. This might be like a battle pass. I don't know how many of you guys play, like, other game modes. Like, you know, Fortnite, you know, Brawl Stars, stuff like that. They have battle passes, and I feel like Seasons is going to be the same thing. We're going to be going through the blog and also the trailer. Uh, but the first thing also I want to look at is this. Yo, wait a yo. What do you guys think about the card art? I kind of mess with it. I kind of don't. But, it, but in the beginning of the year, it's always, like, different. By the time that we get around, like, March and stuff like that, it's, like, completely, like, it's, it's way better. So I'm hoping that happens again. But, yo, this curry looks fire. 96 overall. We got to talk about the overalls, too, because there could potentially be a new tier uh, and there's a lot of stuff that could happen as well. And I want to see the court one more time, though. Where is the court at? Yo, Triple Dread Online. Yo, they said freestyle. What's freestyle? Ooh, hold on, hold on. We got to, hold on. Like, we, got, we about to go slow motion right here. Freestyle. Huh, like, why Why were they? Hmm, I wonder if this is, uh, like, a free, like, just a game mode that you can just play for free without, you know, any, ooh, domination coming back. Challenges obviously unlimited is back and they also got triple threat. I don't know if they said limited But limited is also something new and then the core looks kind of fire though. No cap like, you know It's kind of it kind of you know, you know, I don't know. What do you guys think? I, I, I prefer like what they had originally back in like I think it was like 2k 16 it might have been I don't think I don't need anything too crazy But I, I kind of mess with it though better than uh, this year for sure And then um, you know, we got triple threat. We got a lot of ways to earn and level up as well and yo, 2K21 already, I don't want to be, you know, I don't want to get my hopes up too high, but at the same time, though, I'm ready. Yo, we got seasons. Let's go to talk about the blog, though, because we got to talk about this right here, man. There's a lot to talk about. So basically, um, you can go from, like, PS4 to PS5, Xbox to Xbox, the new Xbox, and so on, with your VC, your points, and your progression, so, like, your collections, you know, your cards, and stuff like that. And it does come out September 4. You know, it goes from my team, PS4, PS5, and so on. That's the first thing that you guys should know. So if you do, you know, consider playing it in current gen, you still do end up getting to carry it over. So it's not like you have to buy the game twice if you pre-order the uh, Legends Edition. I still haven't pre-ordered, so, you know, just keep that in mind. But you can pre-order it if you want. I'm still going to wait a little bit more, though. But we got seasons and seasonable seasonable uh, content. So this basically, uh, if you're like a battle pass, and if you guys don't know what a... Ooh, they got a... Ooh, oh, I don't like this. What is this? No. Uh, actually, may uh, I mean, tokens are back, obviously. I don't know if I mess with that. Uh, huh. I I'm not really feeling it that much. But then again, you know, they can obviously change it uh, for, you know, next gen. Because current gen, current gen is going to be one thing. But then, like, next gen is going to be something else. So we'll see what happens with that. But basically, if you guys don't know what a battle pass is, you kind of, like, do stuff that ends up leveling you up. And then as you level, you get rewards. And as you see, at level 38, you get 25 tokens. You get a Hall of Fame badge pack. Ooh, that's gonna be some cheese. And then you get a pink diamond, Steph Curry. Yo, for level 40. And I'm assuming that might be like the end, as you can see. Yeah, 
Now that's most likely the end. The card art again. I don't know how I'm feeling about it, but I like it at the moment. So this writer is going to be a major thing. So basically, Seasons is going to be like agendas, except way better. So like they'll probably have you score like five points with like a silver player, a sapphire player, stuff like that. I'll be leaving a link to the blog in the description below if you guys do want to take a look at it, you know, on your own time. But basically, it's going to be Seasons. You do certain things, you advance, you level up, and you get rewards. And uh, every single, like I think they said every six weeks, there's going to be something new. And then they're going to start off with a Ping Diamond Curry for Season 1. And so it's going to be lasting about like six weeks. So that's very interesting. They got like a new Vault Price updated every season in Triple Threat as well. You get, you know, a lot of prizes, a lot of wins. And, uh, and man, new boards as well. Okay, ooh. We got a lot. Oh, my goodness, man. The first thing that I do want to talk about is my team Unlimited. Oh, look at those championship rings. Something that I do like about from what I'm reading is that a lot of cards are going to be holding value. So, like, in the beginning of the year, you might be having, like, a gold, you know, Zion or a gold this or a silver that or a ruby. And they'll be holding value because you never know. At any time, they'll be required. For example, right here, your lineup must include a three-point uh, contestant uh, participants. And then you're limited to one Ruby player. And then no player rated amethyst or higher. And must include 520 current NBA players. Yo, so that literally means that you might, you know, you might pull a pack from a logger code. And then you might be like, oh, I just got like, you know, a quick so card. However, though, a week later... Maybe two weeks later, maybe three weeks later, maybe the same weekend, they might hold value and they might just go up in price and everybody, oh, the auction house is going to be very, ooh, that's going to be a lot, hey, hey that's going to be a lot of uh, sniping, sniper story is coming back in 2K21 and basically this is going to be like the weekend uh, leagues, I I've been asking for this for a while and I'm happy that they brought it back, so it'll be Friday, Saturday and Sunday, every single weekend will be different. And then you end up, uh, you know, competing for, like, championship rings. They said that they're going to give you a choice between, like, a reward pack or, like, a championship ring. Or, like, you end up getting, like, a chance of getting a different card. So there's definitely a lot to do on the weekends, which is great. I always wanted something like that. So we're going to be, you know, seasons and this limited stuff is already going to keep you busy. Because you want to level up to get the prizes. Then on the weekend, you want to play with a certain team. And, and I love the fact that it's a certain team and certain requirements. So not every single time that you play, you're going to be going up against Galaxy for this, Pink Diamond, that, etc. So definitely excited to see what they do uh, you know, as they go forward with Limited. So that's going to be one of the new game modes. And then uh, we also got My Team Unlimited 2.0, which uh, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't like Unlimited just because like the servers are already pretty bad. You know, you might have a game where like you just miss every open three and then you just lose. I really wish they would at least give you like like just just one chance. Like like one you can lose one time, but then again you also do want to make it harder to go 12 and 0. But they do have different leagues and pretty much you start like at the bronze league. You you gotta win like three games and then you advance and then so on and then at the end you're gonna be at the Galaxy Opa League and then that's where you gotta go 12 and 0 and then you get the reward. So my team will limit it 2.0 uh, it's interesting. I would rather have like road to the playoffs and to be honest I'd rather have uh Super Max. Super Max I thought was way better but uh, Silverbacks is kind of like limited, so I'll take it in that sense. But uh, I just don't like 12 and 0, you know, you know the servers. Like anything can happen. You can lose power, and then guess what? You got to start over. You could literally be 10 and 0, and then something out of your control just prevents you from going 12 and 0. So we'll see how that goes, obviously, but it is coming back, so keep that in mind. And then we got the exchange. Ooh, look at this, right? Bob Cousy. Yo, Bob Cousy always be getting a card. I don't think, he, did he get one in 2K20? I don't remember. But this is basically where you get to, um, you know, put in players that you have. And then you get to unlock this. So you can either give up like a diamond player, any, you know, any amethyst, laker player, any uh, emerald, any bronze uh, player, uh, ruby point guard. And it tells you how many you need, like one diamond, two amethyst, you know, a lot of emeralds. So this is going to be interesting. I thought it was going to be... Where, like, if you pulled packs, you had a certain amount of, like, you know, say, say for example, the packs that came out recently. If you had a bunch of rubies, amethysts, and diamonds, you could put them in and they get, like, the, you know, Galaxy Opal or the Pink Diamond. But it looks like they're going to have just, like, certain players and they're going to be updating it. Kind of like, I don't want to say a black market because I don't think it is kind of like that. But obviously, you guys can see it as an example. They're going to be having different cards and different players. And then you get to lock them in. So like I said, a lot of cards are going to be having value, which is something that I always wanted in 2K. So like I said, if you end up getting a pack and you get like a ruby, you might think, oh, it's trash. But then you can sell it because we were going to be wanting to buy it in order to do stuff like this. And so it's going to be original owner. I wonder what that means. Like you have to like own the ruby card. Like you can't buy it. Like that's a, uh, huh. 
I just noticed that too. That's interesting. So the exchange, that's what they're gonna call it, the exchange. Hmm. I wonder if they're gonna have a trade block, you know, like between users. I don't think they will at this point because they would have said something about it, but I like it. I like that a lot. We got the badge uh, system coming back and you can actually upgrade badges up to Hall of Fame this time around. As you saw earlier, I showed you the, uh, the Hall of Fame badge pack. So that's gonna be very interesting. I wonder if you can sell those because if you can sell those, that's gonna be a lot of MT that you can make and then you end up getting those packs from like the seasons and then other rewards. And basically, uh, they're gonna have like restrictions, like Brick Wall for Curry is not gonna, you know, like you're not able to apply it, I guess, which kind of makes sense. I do like that, but it's gonna be interesting to see if they let you do Hall of Fame Ren Extender on like Shaq, which I'm assuming they will eventually, but who knows in the beginning of the year. And so basically they are bringing it back up to Hall of Fame. And then we got this right here, which I am, ooh, this is gonna, this is gonna bring a whole new dynamic to my team. Literally the card evolution, you get to choose how you evolve it. So for example, right here, you can upgrade. Uh, he, he could be more athletic. So, you know, speed, stuff like that. Vertical acceleration, as you see right here. Or you can go with the defense, which will make him, obviously, a better defender. So that's going to be very interesting because you might be, you might run into a Shaq and you're like, okay, that card is Shaq. But then again, someone could have like evolved it a whole different way. And he might be better. He might be worse. Maybe, you know, it'll be better in, you know, some game modes. In the other game modes, it's not. So that's going to be, it's going to be more about how you upgrade your player than so much having the player. And I do like how Shaq is going to be a starter. So we end up walking with a Sapphire, you know, Shaq in the beginning. And the new evolution is like a lightning bolt. Ooh, I kind of... I kind of mess with that too. I like this screen. I'm still kind of, I don't know. I, I don't I don't know how I feel. I like the experience right here. I just realized that too. Uh, 16 days later. I feel like it's a little bit less, no? At this point, I think it's like 14 days, but I don't know. I don't know if I like it. We'll see. We'll see. Like I said, you know, once the game comes out, it's going to be different. And then we got this right here. Ooh, rewarding you and more with that. So, so this is going to be, if you guys play 2K16, it's going to be like that where you end up picking different kind of um, packs and then you get rewards. So for example, a base league award pack. And then the, the real grand price is going to be a pink diamond, 95 overall. Huh? If you guys don't know, 95, I'm pretty sure is a diamond. So interesting. So I, I feel like they lowered the, the, oh, hmm. I wonder if we're gonna have a new tier, which we will get to that as well. So this is gonna be pretty cool. You end up getting rewards as you proceed. Uh, and then the more picks you get, you know, you gotta ascend. What do they call it? Uh, ascension. Ooh, ooh, I like that. Okay, ooh, huh. Eh, I don't know. I, 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 the names that Tuga comes up with, you know, and I'll show you what I'm talking about a little bit later too. It's very interesting, but I like it though. I, I, hey, as, as long as we get rewarded for playing the actual game, I love it. You know, this year we got Spotlight Challenges, so great stuff happening. And uh, it's gonna be very interesting to see what they end up updating. And then we have the Idol uh, series, which is gonna basically be, you know, the Prime set, the 20th anniversary set, stuff like that. And then we got other highlights like promo packs. If you pre-order, you end up getting, you know, 10. And then if you get the Legends Edition, you get more and stuff like that. But you know, I don't know how many of you guys are pre-ordering it, but if you do, you get, uh, you know, promo packs. Because they say you get, uh, you know, a player in every pack. So that'll be interesting. Usually they don't really make these rewarding. So I'm hoping in 2K21 they actually do. Usually when you pre-order stuff, it's cool for the first like two hours. And then after that, it's kind of like obsolete. So we'll see how that goes. We got signature challenges. So these are going to be certain challenges for certain players. They emphasize how they're going to do like a Damian Lillard uh, challenge in the beginning when he pretty much sent OKC home with that, uh, you know, game winner, buzzer beater. So that'll be cool. I hope they make it where like you don't got to play the whole game, maybe like two quarters, maybe the last 30 seconds. That'd be really great. And then uh, we'll see how that goes. Even though there was a glitch in 2K20, I think it was in 20, where uh, if a game started like in the third quarter, you know, you had stats already, so that helped you evolve a player a lot faster. So only they do fix that, and then they bring back where it's like one quarter, 30 seconds, and stuff like that. And then eventually, you know, some, you know, full games and stuff like that, that'll be cool. And then we also have an objective tracker, so that'll like track basically your progress, how many points you score with a certain player, stuff that you gotta accomplish. So I like that. I like that. And then we got Dark Matter. Hmm. Hmm. It makes up as much as 85% of our known universe, yet it has never been observed directly. Maybe that will change given time. I, I, I feel like, I don't think it'll be a new tier. It could be. It could be Galaxy Opa and then like a Dark Matter, you know, Kobe Bryant too. That sounds kind of fire. But I think it's going to be, I, I think it's going to be like a currency. I feel like Dark Matter, you know, I, 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 that's, that's like my initial guess. I would not be surprised if it is a new tier because again, you got a 95 overall ping diamond and usually those are diamonds. 
So it could be maybe like 97, 98 is Galaxy Opal, and then 99 is a Dark Matter card, which would be interesting. I definitely like Dark Matter a lot more than Galaxy Opal, but then again, I kind of already, you know, I like Galaxy Opal now. You guys know we love getting Galaxy Opals, so it'll be very interesting. Let me know your thoughts down below, uh, what you think this means, Dark Matter, huh? Huh, interesting. Okay, so we got the other uh, holo ball. Ooh, holographic, bro. Yo, Pokemon up in here. Okay, I like it. So that's gonna be the new ball. And I'm not, and you know, the fireball, it was cool, but they made that. Like, I like how they made it hard, but they kind of made it impossible to get up until, like, you know, two months before the game was already over. So hopefully they do a better job. That'll be cool. And then obviously, my team starts now. There's a challenge that you can do in 2K20. It expires August 28th. So hurry up and do it. You got about a week. And go do it. I haven't done it either, so, you know, I got to do that too. But go do it. And then, uh, you know, we got some closing thoughts over here. And basically, I am excited. I think the main thing that I'm excited for is the fact that I'm excited for everything, to be honest. Like, I like this. I like the, the evolutions. I like the cards. I like this. It just it, it really just comes down to how they implement it. And uh, with Seasons and Limited, I think that's going to keep us uh, very, very busy. And I'm just excited, man. Like I said, I'm just, I'm ready, bro. This is, this is probably going to be the biggest W. It's kind of like a battle pass. It, it really is a battle pass. If you play other games, you pretty much get rewarded for playing the whole time. And I, I am ready. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. We'll talk more as more info comes out. But basically, I'm excited for everything. It just comes down to how they implement it. It comes down to the gameplay. I'm assuming the gameplay is going to be so different current gen compared to uh, next gen. So we'll see how that goes. But that right there is going to be the video. My initial thoughts with everything. Hopefully, you did enjoy it. And hopefully, you are as excited as I am. Because once NBA 2K21 comes out, it's going to be a grind on a whole nother level, all right? So if you guys are ready and you're excited, leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out these two videos that I uploaded. I did a pack opening when they updated the pack market in 20. Really good video. Check out this other episode that I did for the No Money Spend Squad. And then check out this other amazing video. And as always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, on my bed. Texting with the feel. Roses in my wallet and I'm flexing it for real. Racks and racks and racks. I look like rookie of the year.